So after the Passover, they can bring him up because they can kill him. To the people. Uh huh. Peter therefore was kept in prison. Uh huh. But prayer was made without the church. You hear it? The church ain't praying. This is why we have been too much prematurely dead on the leaders because the members is not praying for the leader. Yes. Peter was a leader. Yes. Glory. Amen. Then they can come to your phone to cry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if you was praying, possible when they died prematurely. Amen. Amen. They pray for their leader, Peter. And they pray. Someone say pray. Pray. And what kind of prayer they did? But prayer was made without ceasing a prayer. Prayer without taking a break. Continue. You, you hear that? See, we pray, but we take breaks. I push the Lord Jesus. We pray, then we take break. We get a two days break, then come back in prayer, then get a three days break, then come. No wonder. Every day. No wonder the devil is killing the church. Jesus. We taking break. You can't take no prayer break. Got your neighbor say neighbor. Amen. All of those prayer break is over. Say oh, so no more prayer break for you. Amen. For me. We take it to us break in prayer. That's you. Yes. Now forgive me. You can never pray so much. It's better for you to pray non-stop and to not pray at all. Prayer was made without stopping. Continue. Go ahead. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night he was in Somebody said, look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Your deliverance don't have to take five years. Five years. It can happen today. Come on, amen. 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 Why the love? It don't take God five years to do something. Where do you want to do it now? Now. No. See, the, it, it, get, it get me really angry. Just angry. When I see any young leaders dying prematurely. Jesus. And then the church excited. Uh-uh. Hey. Oh, his work is finished. And the Lord calling him. How is, is did he die empty? Did she die empty? Did she pour all, all of herself into somebody else? Did she can finish her cause? When God said finish, she may finish everything God has called you to do. Moses, yes, the great prophet Moses, died prematurely. Died prematurely. Yes. Is it being in? Yeah. Moses died prematurely. God planned and put for Moses for Moses to lead the people in the promised land, but Moses never entered into the promised land. It's a beaning. So that was a prematurely death on Moses. That's right. You see what I'm saying? And the devil would always plan something in the church. He will always put somebody in the church. I call them me. This me. You gotta call them that. I call them satanic agent. Amen. Agent of the devil. That's what I call them. They doesn't grow spiritually. Their job is to bring you down and bring the ministry down. Amen. Moses had a generation curse in him. Amen. This is why I, I tell every every man and woman of God, if you if you if you if you, if you had an anger problem before you come to God, make sure that you get delivered from the anger. 
Make sure because that comes down to you. And if you don't get to live with the anger, this is how the devil works. The devil doesn't come against the spirit of anger. He comes with the spirit of murder. Yeah. Because an angry man can kill you. Yeah. You get them to a place where they're angry, they can commit murder. Amen. That's true. This is why Moses, you remember what Moses did? Yeah. Moses killed the Egyptian. Yeah. He was angry the way the people was treated. And then his anger driving to kill. Amen. Yes. The spirit of anger and the spirit of murder. Of murder. Yeah. Moses generation gonna read by because if you go back in Genesis 49, Jacob cursed Levi, Simeon, and Reuben. He cursed them. He put a curse on their life because they went in the city and killed all the man of the city after the man them was circumcised because the man raped their, their daughter Darius. The sister. The sister. Amen. So the son take it on himself to murder the man. So he says, Levi, because of your anger. So automatically Moses was the fifth generation of Levi. So he attached to it. You can't trace Moses' anger to his father. You gotta go way to his great-grandfather. That's where it starts. Amen. Lord, you hear what I'm saying? And this is why a lot of things, a lot of things start way back there. Yeah. You might have no knowledge of some things that you are dealing with right now. Amen. But if your great great daddy was, was alive, they'll tell you. They'll tell you exactly what's going on. <laughs> and because of Moses, they did nothing with it. It, it fought on him. The first time it shows up, he murdered her. He was placed in the back of the desert. Amen. God now is using. God is using Moses. God is calling Moses. And in Genesis, in, in Exodus chapter 3, Moses saw the burning bush. But the bush was not caught on fire. And Moses drew to the bush. And then they hear a voice speak out of the bush. Says upon, he said, take off your shoes. For on this ground is what? Holy. It's holy ground. And now, God now is building a relationship with Moses. Moses spent, spent 40 years in Egypt, in, remember, in the kingdom of Egypt. Right. Now, God says now, in order for me to use Moses, I need to take out the 40 years that Moses had and put in my 40 years with me. Amen. So, a lot of times, because you come out of the world, it don't mean necessary you must go start a ministry. Amen. You still got a lot of stuff that need to be cut that in you that need to come out of you. So 40 years with God. That's what it takes. And 40 is the number of what? Birth. So Moses is about to bring birth. What was the birth? Deliverance of God people. 40 years. Anger was in Moses. And some things things of God when you don't deal with it. It is somebody say time sensitive. Time sensitive. Oh time sensitive. Now when you come so close to your miracle, so close to your miracle, this when it shows up. Moses now, God is about to change to glorify himself in the midst of the congregation. And God said, look here, Moses, you don't have the only thing. I don't want you to speak to Aaron. I want you, yourself, to speak to the rock. I'm not going to use Aaron no more. Uh-uh. This is about me now. I'm going to glorify him. Amen. You're going to glorify me in the midst of the people. And Moses... Because the sin of the people, they start because Moses, don't oh, Moses there, this one, let's build, let's go ahead and make some, um, let's make some so and sacrifice. And this was the first time that Balaam came in to existing. Because Balaam 
who is the principality need a body <laughs> so they build a calf that was the body of Balaam this is how demon operates a demon cannot operate in this physical realm without a body so they have to get they have to become illegal body give them or make them illegal legal to operate so he's operating through the car and then they sacrifice brings more demon because they're sacrificing to the wrong god Amen. moses had a nurse joshua was in the middle moses on top and Aaron to the bottom. Look the order. Moses on top. When you on top, you in tune with God. Yes. You in tune with God. When you in second, you in tune with the leader yes. that is in tune with God. This is why Joshua didn't move. When you to the bottom, you in tune of your natural environment. You are operating by your senses. What you see, what you touch, what you feel. It's, no, it's nothing about faith. It says what you see. So they start as Aaron, as Moses came down with the law. Actually, I should that noise. Joshua began to tell him, update him, that he came down. And when he came, and they see what they do. His anger! His anger! Take over him! He grabbed the law, the Ten Commandments, and he smite the rock. The rock is Christ Jesus. The rock represents Jesus Christ. God had wanted to speak to the rock so the rock would bring water and now when the rock bring water then the people would be able to rejoice and serve and give God the glory. This is why Jesus came back in, in John 7 and says out of your belly shall flow river of water. But he was not, he was not able to get in you yet. So he used type, rock, Christ. And they smote the rock, and now when they smite the when Moses smite the rock, God, that is not really what really makes God angry. But I want y'all to do your own way. Go back and, and find out what really made God angry. This man grind up the rock and put it in the water and let them drink it. Oh God. Moses cry and God said, I don't want to hear it no more. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Disobedient. Help me. Lord. Help me. God didn't really to change his mind because God already gave Moses the instruction. Disobedient. But he allowed the people. You can allow people to send you to hell. And I'm telling you, don't allow nobody to send you to hell. If they want to go to hell, you let them go to hell by themselves. But don't let them hold you down. I don't care how they have to let them you go to hell. Say so nobody can send me to hell. Say so if you gonna go to hell, you gonna go to hell by yourself. Cause I'm planning to go with you. I'm planning to go with you. Don't never make nobody make you feel uncomfortable. Amen. Because the same grace that saved them is the same grace that saved you. The same blood that that. It's the same blood that cleansed your sin. Amen. And Moses did not enter into the promised land. And he pleaded with God. And God said, Moses, I don't want to hear this no more. Moses died prematurely. 
este pine. Moses died prematurely. Moses, the plan was that I'm going to send my people the deliverer and they're going to deliver my people. That's God's plan. And bring them into a war. Okay. And in the promised land. It's the same land that he told Abraham. He says, now Moses is going to bring them into this land. He never said Joshua. No. You think God don't know everything? He know everything. So it, it was Moses that when Moses messed up, Moses disqualified himself. Yeah. And he died prematurely. And so many people, because they're messing up, because they, they're not healing to the voice of God, they are controlled by their own senses. Controlled by the, their feelings and controlled by what they see. Control, not controlled by God. And, and, it, co and it caused them to, to, to not make it into. Or, or, or a lot of times it, it brings a lot of setback. It brings a lot of setback. I'm telling you, it brings a lot of setback because anytime when you begin not to, not to listen to what God said, That's you'll find yourself doing what you want to do. And when you begin to do what you, what you want to do, then you find that what you want to do is not what God wants you to do. Amen. Look at your neighbors and neighbor. So you got to disconnect yourself from everyone that not moving with God. So you got to disconnect yourself from everyone that are not moving with God. Because there's some folks that are not moving with God, amen, and they don't want to move with God. And it doesn't matter how much you try to pump them, they're not going to move with God. They already make up their mind to stay back. They already make up their mind to not move forward. There's some folks, glory be to God, amen, amen. And this is what, this is what happened even in, the, in our churches, amen. Not everybody that comes to church, come to church to change. No, not everyone that comes to church come to church to change. A lot of us we come, we have motive in coming to church. Some of us come to spy it out. Some people come to see what's going on. Some of us come to what keep those crazy people so long in 